Do you know why we're here today? What are we here today for? We're here, we're celebrating Easter today. Now, a lot of people have a lot of different opinions about what Easter is. But today, we're going to learn the real meaning of Easter. It's not just finding eggs, it's not the Easter bunny, it's not getting new clothes to wear to church. We're going to understand the real meaning of Easter. We all know that in the very beginning, who created the world? God created the world, and this place is going to be our world today. So after God created the world, He created what? He created everything, didn't He? He created all the animals, every species there is. He, he created all the plants, animals. He created all of them. Well, then, what did He? Who did He create after that? He created man. Now this. Penny is going to represent man. That's going to represent me. It's going to represent you and you and everybody. This is every person that's ever been on the earth, and it's every person that will ever be on the earth. So God created the earth, and he gave man dominion over the earth. You know what dominion means? Dominion means that God gave it to Adam. He said, here, Adam, this is yours. I want you to take care of it. And he even let Adam name all the animals. And God was so happy with man once he had created man. He was in love with man. And every day, God would come and he would visit with Adam and Eve in the garden. There's only one thing that God told Adam and Eve that they could not do. Yes? Don't eat the apple or the cake with God told Adam and Eve, you can partake of everything there is in the Garden of Eden except you cannot partake of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. Now that's all they could not do. But what did they do? They partook of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Well, Eve did it first. So then she got her husband to do it as well. She got Adam to do it. Now this is the only thing that God had told them not to do. He had given them the whole earth and everything in it. And God was saying, because sin separates man from God, so God couldn't come and walk with them every day in the garden anymore because they'd been separated from him. Well, God, it, it really bothered God that he had a separation from man because God loved man. So this is where we're going to get from what he's doing. So God wanted a way that he could commune with man again and be there, man, with him. So, this candle is going to represent Jesus. Now, we got the world here, we got man, and then what did man do? Man, sin. So this is going to represent sin right here. This is man living in his sin in the world. And God wanted a way, so he allowed Jesus to come into the earth. And Jesus came as the light of the world. He came to be the patterned son for all of us. He came to tell us, and he came to become the way that we could get back in communion with God. So this is Jesus. And what happened to him? What is Easter all about? What happened to Jesus? He died on the cross. He, died on the cross. he got put on the cross, didn't he? Now, we're going to find out what happened when he got put on the cross. Had he done anything wrong? No. No, he didn't do anything at all. He had not sinned at all. Who had sinned? Man. But God, but Jesus got put on the cross. He got put on the cross for our sins. So this is what happened when Jesus got put on the cross. He was alive, and then he died on the cross. He died on the cross for you and for me. Now, do you notice something happening here? What's happening to sin all around the place? Is sin 
hand getting smaller and smaller in play? Sin is being sucked up in this. Jesus took our sins. And he took it on the cross himself for me and for you. And if this had worked exactly right, like it did at home, it would have sucked every bit of that up in there. And that is how what Jesus did on the cross. He took my sin and he took your sin on himself so that we would be able to be with uh, God. So now what is it all about? For whom? For all of us. All of us. And what did he do on that cross? What did he take? He took our sin. Our sin he took on himself. And now all you have to do, Jesus did it all. And all we have to do is just accept it, believe it, and confess our sins. And he is faithful just to forgive us. And that's all we have to do. We don't have to be crucified like he did. And see, he's still taking up our sins. It is still running in that way. So that's what Jesus did on the cross for us.